Don't. Don't say anything. Not one more word. Not one single syllable. <sighs> Do you have any idea how close you came tonight? If I'd been one second too late, or too slow, I wouldn't have rescued you. You could have been killed, or... I, I don't even want to think about it. These thugs were well-armed and well-connected. They could have easily wished you away to another country before dawn. And then what? What would you have done? Is one night out worth that? Yeah, I'm pissed. Because you don't get it. You don't get any of this. You see me as a hindrance, a bother. But you know what I actually am. I'm your bodyguard. I'm the person who's supposed to protect you, keep you out of danger, and yeah, I get it. I understand your family can be overprotective, and if you had been born into another family, you would get to go out like a normal person. But you're not. You're you. Your family is a political dynasty. The list of people who would want to get their hands on you is huge. That's why I'm here, to keep you safe. No, I'm not done. You need to hear this, because tonight, I realized something. When I first started here, I hated you. You were a spoiled brat. You thought you could just give me orders, and when that didn't work, you thought you could just sneak out like I wouldn't notice. But then, I saw you helping one of your friends after a breakup. You didn't even hesitate when you got off the phone with her. You rushed up to me, and for the first time ever, you asked me to take you somewhere. You said please, and I thought, hey, I guess she does care. And after that day, I started to notice you more. You were a brat. Yeah, but your actions always seemed to be deliberate. You pushed my buttons, but when things really mattered, you would listen. We got to know each other. I thought we were friends, that you could trust me and listen to me when it came to your safety. But instead, tonight, I get a frantic call from your mom saying that you had jumped out of your bedroom window and snuck away to some club. <laughs> Why did you do that? You waited until tonight because you knew I was off, the one night I take off. And then I rush down there and find you tied to a chair, a gun to your head. I couldn't breathe. I was so mad at you. But I was terrified too. Because I've... Because if I mess things up, you be gone. Forever. So tell me, why? Why tonight? Why did you leave? What was so fucking important? What? what? Slow down. What do you mean, a phone call? Uh, who called you? A blocked number? Why would you pick up? Wait, what do you... That's a picture of me. From earlier tonight. Wait, how do you have this? Fuck. I threatened you. With me? Then if you didn't come, they'd kill me. Jesus. No. No. I'm not upset. I... I just... <laughs> Who's protecting who here? Huh? But why did you go? I'm not important. No, I'm not. I'm just a bodyguard. I'm expendable. Replaceable, but you, you're precious. Don't cry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you upset. I just, I was scared. Scared that I lost you. Because I, what, what are you doing? Stop. You don't mean this. You're just having a, that crush that people get when they're rescued. In the morning you won't feel anything. 
I'm not avoiding the issue. I'm telling you the truth. Y you can't love me. I'm your bodyguard. That's it. That's all I can ever be. Yes, of course I care for you. God, too much. You were the first thing I think about when I wake up, and the last thing I picture before I fall asleep. I... I'm compromised. I... I can't be objective when it comes to you. That's why before this gets any more complicated, I'm leaving. Tonight was the final straw. I, I can't protect you properly. If I'd kept the proper distance between us, you never would have fallen for that trick. They know I'm your weakness, and the fact that I hadn't realized it. No, don't say it's okay. It's not. I love you. It happened so slowly at first, but now I know it's true. And that's why I'm leaving. No, I can't stay. I wouldn't be able to protect you properly. You need someone else. Someone objective. I found you. I can't be... I can't stay and be your weakness. I know. It's not fair. But this is the way it has to be. This is the way it is. In time, you'll find someone... Someone else. And move on. You'll be safe and... And that's... That's all I want for you. Please don't cry. Come here. I've got you. If I could keep you safe in my arms, I... I'd never let you leave. No. No. There's nothing you could say to change my mind. I'm sorry. Love. And one day I hope you'll understand. But even if... Even if you hate me, it won't matter. This is the right choice. Go ahead. Curse me out. Be upset. I, I deserve it. But I need to do this. I need to be the strong one. Because if I... If I'm not and I stay... You could die. Because of me. I won't let that happen. No. Deep breaths. In and out. I've got you. It's gonna be okay. Yes, it will be. You'll see. I, I promise. I know. I know. Just breathe. Like you're gonna pass out at this rate. Look at me. You're okay. You will all be okay. I, I promise. One more breath. In and out. There. Listen, I've called your father. He and the security detail are en route now. He's accepted my resignation. I told him I'd find a suitable replacement. I have a few candidates in mind. Ones that won't strangle you and uh, you sass them. Okay. You win. I'll hold you until they get here. Hey. Hey. Oh, easy. Easy. It's me. It's just me. Listen to me. You need to be very quiet. I know you're probably freaking out, and I don't blame you, but I just need you to hold it together for a bit longer. I'm gonna remove the tape now, okay? Don't say anything. I know, I know. Shh, I know, I must burn. Hey, 
Eyes on me. Not a word. Okay. Just nod. Are you hurt? Okay. I figured, since you're all bruised, is it bad enough where you can't walk? Good. I took out a few guards in the perimeter. How many do you see? Five. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Don't say anything. It's nothing I can't handle. Just... Look, I gotta leave you here. Just for a second. No, 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 don't, don't panic. I need you to hold it together. Just for a bit longer. Can you do that? Good. I'll be right back. horrible. What do these fuckers do to her? How did this even happen? Neil was supposed to be watching her. He's well trained. He can handle a team of the most elite fighters. Fuck. Now Neil's in the wind, and unless I find a way out of here, we're both as good as fucking dead. Drop it. Now, look, I've had a shitty night. So if you want to keep breathing, you'll drop the gun and toss me your keys. Now. <laughs> Sleep tight, asshole. Okay, one of these has got to get us out of here. Easy, just me. Look. Ready to head out? Okay, come on. Up. Easy, easy. I've got you. Lean on me. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not. I mean, if anyone was going to end up kidnapped again, it would be you, right? <laughs> so how'd you manage this one? Uh, Neil? I don't know. He's on my aim. You... He... Shit. Well, the guy I vouched for gave you to them. Oh, great. Just fan-fucking-tastic. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. Don't go lip on me. I know it hurts, love. But you gotta keep it together. Just for a bit longer. What? Does that matter right now? Just stay quiet. We need to get out of here. Backup is on route, but the farther away we can get before these fuckers notice us, the better. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we gotta move. Run! Keep running. Don't stop. Don't look back. Move! Luck! The police! Run for them! Look at me. It's over. You're safe. They're gonna get you to the hospital and check you out. Easy. No, I'll go with you. Shh, love, calm down. I'll go with you. General, relax. Just breathe. Focus on me. Just relax. What? Of course I came. I'll always come for you. Hey, hey, hey. Easy. Eyes open. Look at me. You're gonna pull through this. You wanna know why? Because you were right. Yeah. Yeah, baby, you were. I shouldn't have left you. I was an idiot. I should have stayed with you. Okay, look. The ambulance is coming. I'll be right behind you. Let go of my hand. Your family will ride with you, okay? They want to go with you. I promise. I'll be there when you wake up. I'm not running, okay? So don't go do anything stupid, alright? You're gonna be fine. I'll see you on the other side, love.
I was wondering how long it would take for you to track me down. You didn't make things too hard, Neil. Yeah, I figured if you'd survived, then there'd be no point in hiding. So, I'm going to see him in cheese at the hospital. <laughs> I knew you were so smart. Uh, sarcasm. Original. Look, for the record, I didn't realise how important she was to you. This is nothing personal. Just business. Uh, business? Since when do we turn our clients in as business? Since the people that wanted her showed me a check with more zeros than I could count. So that's what it came down to. It always comes down to money. Isn't that why you took that job in the first place? I'm taking you in. Sure. Then why are you going to tell the police? That I'm a rogue bodyguard? How many bodies did you leave behind in that rampage there? I mean, since she's still alive, I'm sure there's a bunch of them. <laughs> sure, maybe with enough cash, the cops will look the other way. But if I'm there, I might just talk. And I have a lot to say about you. Enough, Neil. I'm not going in without a fight. And frankly, after the shitty night I've had, I prefer to not do that tonight. Thank you very much. So, what? You gonna murder me in cold blood? Hell, your love would take that. As long as she's safe, I don't care. Forgive me, but weren't you the one who gave her to me? Because you felt compromised. Because I trusted you. Jesus, Neil, you had my back for years. If I couldn't protect her, at least I could breathe knowing she was in your care. Things change, my friend. Not all of us can draw such clear lines in the sand. <sighs> Shut up, Neil. Look, I'm just the first. There'll be more. You've got enemies. And she's got a huge target on her back because of her family. And, well, you're just making it easier to see. You would do well to walk away. What the fuck would you know? Oh, spare me the lecture. What is this? You can ask me if I've ever been in love before. <laughs> Jesus, this isn't a fairy tale. You're not the dashing hero out to save the day. We both know how this is going to end. In blood. Any last words? She'll die because of you. Maybe not now, but eventually. You want to know why? Because she'll try to be noble. She'll try to protect you. She'll take risks. So will you. And then, bam! She'll be nothing more than a lifeless body looking up at you. Fuck you. We're an impasse, old friend. You're not going to pull that trigger. Not after everything we've been through over the years. <laughs> you care to test that theory? For what it's worth. I'm sorry. But it's just business. <laughs> Wait! Shit. He's gone. Damn it all. Easy. Don't get up. <laughs> Why so surprised? I told you I would come back. Ah, uh, well, you got me. I suppose that's on me for leaving you once before. But I'm not going anywhere now. I promise. What did the doc say? <sighs> Shit. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's just... Ugh, bruised ribs aren't really fun. Not like any of your current injuries are fun, it's just... <laughs> I'm rambling, aren't I? I missed you too. Ah, longest two months of my life. Listen, what, what happened, exactly, with Neil? I know he handed you over to them, but was there anything odd before that? Did he say something or do anything else odd? No? Uh, 
I figured. Well, he's one of the best for a reason. If this had been his end game all along, hey, hey, it's going to be okay. You're safe. I know right now things are well, intense, to say the least. But you're not alone. I'm here, for one thing. I know Neil. He's never failed a job like this before. He'll try again. When he does, I'll be ready for him. Look at me, love. No one is going to lay a finger on you again. I promise. No one is going to take you from me. <laughs> now not killing me first. No, no. Shh. Fuck. I'm doing this all wrong. Come here. I've got you. Listen. Do you hear my heartbeat? Focus on it. It's proof that I'm with you. <laughs> it's the best sound in the world, right? It's why we always check for a pulse first, whenever anyone's hurt. Even if there's blood or gunshots or whatever else going on. Because this rhythm is life. It's heart. <laughs> this heart beats for you, love. Cheesy. Well, excuse me for trying to be romantic. I feel rather for me to just go. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. I'm here. Oh, I've got you. I'm sorry. I am. I brought this mess onto you. If I never met you, then Neil would have never gotten close to you. Oh, none of this would have happened. Of course I regret what I said that night. But please, understand that I thought leaving was the only way I could protect you. I was terrified of finding you moments too late. Your lifeless body. Your, your lifeless eyes staring up at me. God, I had nightmares about it. You haunted me. Even when I left, I was just... I was broken. I couldn't take other jobs. I felt lost without you. <laughs> well, I even missed your pathetic attempt at cooking. <laughs> now, love, it's only you who'd think it'd be normal to put a cup of bacon powder in a cupcake recipe. Stop. I know. I don't want to either, but you're hurt. I'm exhausted. When your parents are in here. When things are normal. When we have a moment to just talk about all this. I know it's... It's rich coming from me. I don't like to talk about things. Actions speak louder than words. And believe me, there's nothing I would rather do than spend the night with you. Kissing you. Holding you. But I let my guard down once. I'm not doing that again. I'm not losing you. So, uh, just uh, please stay put. Let me call in some favors. Once Neil is out of the picture, then we can revisit this. Okay? <laughs> Are you serious? You have to ask that question after everything? Fine. Fine. If you need the words, then yeah. I'm in love with you. And I don't let people I love suffer because of me. Listen, do you... Do you trust me? I mean it. Do you trust me with your life? Do you trust that I'll keep you safe? Then, that's all there is to it. Neil made a mistake coming after you. I'll make sure he and whoever hired him to get you never forget that. Just stay alive. Whatever happens to me, whatever you think is going on, 
Your only job is to stay alive. Do you understand me? I promise I'm not going to go down without a fight. But I need you to trust me and put yourself first. If I say run, you run. You leave me behind. You don't think twice about it. Understood? I said, is that understood? Good. Now, chin up, love. We'll laugh about this someday. I'm not sure when, but we will. Maybe on a beach somewhere. <laughs> Listening to the waves. Oh, that'd be nice, right? I could use a vacation. Okay, easy. All right. Back to bed for you. Don't argue, love. I can see the pain in your eyes. Just take your meds and rest. Neil is not going to try anything tonight. I promise. You can rest easy. <laughs> Go with you. Okay. But just until you fall asleep. <sighs> Lay down, baby. I've got you. You're safe. Uh, you're loved. And you're gonna be okay. I promise. I get it, Thomas. Uh, I wouldn't be asking if I didn't think it was a big deal. No! I'm not asking you to choose between me and Neil. I'm asking you to help me protect an innocent person who got swept up in our world. Please, Thomas, if there's anything you can do. No. That's great. Thank you. I'll wait for your call. Hey, love, what are you doing up so late? Are your ribs hurting again? You sure? I can get your meds. Uh, just making sure I'm still here, huh? <laughs> I am. Not going anywhere. I was just making a few calls. No. Don't worry about it. Mm, no, I can't say that I have. I think the last time I saw a movie was... Uh, a few years ago. I've been busy. When I'm on the job, I don't have time to just sit and watch movies. Uh, as tempting as that offer is, I need to... I know, but love... I can't afford to let my guard down for a second. Not with Neil still on the wind. As much fun as watching a movie in bed with you would be, we've got bigger things to focus on. I am aware that your father's security team is here tonight, but they still don't know Neil. He's sneaky, love. He's good at getting to targets without anyone realizing what's going on until it's too late. I know the signs, but only because we worked together for so long. Your father's team doesn't know what to look for. <laughs> You're trying to tempt me. Shame on you. <laughs> I'm only trying to do what's best for you. I didn't say that I didn't enjoy it. It's just... Look, I've... Never done this whole relationship thing before. I've had a few flings here and there, but in my line of work, you learn not to get attached. I thought that was fine for me, but now. God. You really are infuriating. You know that? Sometimes I just want to tie you down to your bed so I know you'll be safe. Oh. Oh, for Christ's sake. You know what I meant. Get your mind out of the gutter, love. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that there will be time for all that stuff. 
later, when Neil is apprehended. Until then, you need to be a good girl and do as you're told. And I need to get two steps ahead of Neil. He always has a contingency plan. I just need to know what it is. What are you doing? I understand you're holding my hand, but why? Because? What are you up to? I slept for a bit. About two hours or so. I don't need to get the full length. I'm used to short bursts here and there. I can't. I need to... You're worried for me. Wait a second, love. <laughs> Haven't you got this backwards? I'm not the one with a hit out on me. A nap? With you. Love, I... I told you, I need to stay awake. Well, you don't want to hear my excuses. Oh, you've got a lot more sassy since your hospital visit. What if they gave you something? Are you sure you didn't hit your head? I do worry. I love you. And I'm terrified that if I close my eyes, you'll be gone. So, please, just let me do my job. Let go. I mean it. I understand how important sleep is. Jesus. I'm not an idiot. But I told you, I don't need to sleep like you do. My body is trained to go without sleep. Don't worry. I'm still sharp and focused. Oh, really? You're playing that card on me, huh? And why should I listen to you? Because you... You love me. You're such a sap. Okay. Fine. A nap. But you have to promise me not to do anything stupid while I'm asleep. And I'm only napping for a little bit. Hey, look at me. It's going to be okay. I mean it. This whole thing with Neil, it'll come to an end. These things always do. I know the waiting is hard, but I promise you, we're going to get through this just fine. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you make me want to believe in happy endings. Or at least... Fight for hours. Would you lie down next to me? I would feel better if I knew you were there. Well, given your track record of escapes, love, <laughs> forgive me for being a bit suspicious. Good. Two hours max. Okay. Good. Then come here. No, I can't say that I have. You're the first. Me? No, but I bet you were a heartbreaker in school. Probably had all the boys pining over you. <laughs> really, a band geek. Well, that would explain your love for classical music. Why? <laughs> Do you really have to ask that? I love you. That's why. And I don't give up on people that I love. That's... That's why I'm going after Neil so hard. He's a threat. One that I need to stop. Because if he gets a second chance at you... He won't hesitate to kill you. I'm not going to give him that opportunity. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm closing my eyes. Just promise me you won't go. Okay. Good. Hello? What are you-
What do you have, Thomas? No, uh, love. <laughs> Stay there. Uh, you sure, Thomas? You verified it? Of course I trust you. I just want to make sure. Got it. When was he last seen? I know. Neil would only show himself for a reason, but even if it is a trap, I need to check it out. Maybe I could, uh, I don't know, reason with him. He has to know that this is wrong. I mean, the guy who trained me would. I'll be careful. Thanks, Thomas. Don't give me that look. What? That look. The sad, kicked puppy dog look. Maybe that works for some people, but not me. I'm a highly trained bodyguard, love. If Neil does try to stage a trap, he's going to have a hell of a time capturing me. I won't go down easily, and he knows that. <laughs> Bastard probably just wants to talk or something. He always did love to gloat. No, I want you to stay put, preferably in this bed. Don't move, not an inch. I'm serious, I know you. I know you'll be tempted to do something stupid, but for once, please, just stay put. Promise me. Promise me. Good. I'll be back. Your father's security team has been briefed. They may not be as good as me, but uh, they'll do. Hey, it's it's going to be okay. I'm going to end this. When I get back, maybe you can watch that movie you like. <laughs> yeah, that one. It'll be fine. You'll see. Hey, look at me. I promise you, I'm gonna end this. It's going to be okay. I love you too. Please, love, don't... Don't worry. I can handle this. If I couldn't, I would ask for help. I'll be back. Guess you really are as stupid as I thought. Didn't he teach he'd never pick up an unknown number before? Oh, don't bother hanging up. I figured you and I could just settle this amicably. No need to get anyone else involved. And besides, he's already left, right? You wouldn't want anything bad to happen to him, would you? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't doubt his combat skills, but a sniper rifle can still trump that. Especially when you have one like mine on the payroll. The place he's coming, it's out in the open. My sniper will have a clear shot. Just waiting on my word. Of course we don't have to go down that road. After all, you're somewhat of a master escape artist, aren't you? I'm texting you an address. Be there in 20 minutes. If you don't... He's dead. You tell anyone about this, he's dead. You try to do anything stupid, well, you get the point, don't you? <laughs> uh, sorry, it's really quite unprofessional of me, isn't it? I just can't believe how easy this is. I mean, I knew love made people do stupid things, but this is on a whole new level. Uh, for what it's worth, yeah, I promise. You come, you'll walk free. I'm a man of my word. Once I agree to do something, I don't stop until my end of the deal is fulfilled. Once you step through these doors, you'll be safe. All right. Twenty minutes, and counting. All right.
right, Neil. Enough of the games. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Neil! <sighs> Shit. Shit. Five people, maybe six. Fuck. Look, I don't suppose we could just call it a draw. I guess not. I gotta get out of here. One down. Two by the door. Come on, focus. This was set up. Fuck. Well, which means if I'm here, then. Uh, no, no, no. Come on. Pick up. Pick up, love. Looking for someone? Shit. Hello to you, too. How do you have this phone? You can work that one out for yourself, right? I mean, I'd let you talk to them, but they're a bit... Uh, <laughs> tied up at the moment. Uh, you see what I did there? I've been saving that one for a while. Let me talk to... You're in no place to negotiate. In fact, if you keep making me mad, I might just have to break another rib. Oh, you fell in love with an idiot, you know that? Poor fool came running over as soon as I threatened your life. Neil, this isn't you. We can work this out. Tell me where you are, and I'll meet you. We'll talk, just like old times. Do you think I'm an idiot? It's over. You put up a good fight. But in the end, love made you sloppy. I mean, come on. How did you not realize it was a trap? They're innocent, Neil. No one is really innocent. Not your precious client. Not you. And definitely not me. Face it, friend. You lost. Best of luck next time. I suppose you heard that, huh? Seems your bodyguard is quite displeased. Ah, but hey, I set a trap and it worked out. Well, for everyone except you. Look, about this whole thing, it's really not personal. Well, okay, breaking one of your ribs was personal, but uh, not toward you, toward your bodyguard. Self-righteous bastard thinks that the only way is their way. But we've all got to eat, right? Got to have money to live. You understand that, right? <laughs> if you can still say rude things like that, I must not have welcomed you properly. The client only said I had to turn you over alive. No rules about what I can do to you until then. You want to have some fun? They all say that. You just wait because so and so will come and save me. <laughs> Truth is, if your bodyguard comes anywhere near this compound, I'll know. And I'll put him down. Your bodyguard is good. Yeah, but I'm better. And I'm afraid you'll need more than the power of true love to save the day. <laughs> oh, but really, don't look so blue. Your part in this play is almost over. Now, why don't you get some rest? We've got a big night tonight.
No, I tried that, damn it. Can't you get me something else? A, a location? Hell, I'll even take an educated guess at this point. Neil has the phone, so track it. Of course it's disabled. Shit. I don't know what to do. Neil's one of the best, and he will complete the job. Fuck. She must be so scared right now. Oh, I'm in pain. This is all my fault. I know I don't have time for a pity party. I need backup. Anyone. I'll pay. I don't care how much. I know it'll be hard to find people willing to go up against Neil, but there must be someone. Anyone. Her? You've got to be kidding me. She's really the only one available. Oh, shit. Yes, okay, fine. I'll do it. Wire her the money. I'll text the address. I need her here, ASAP. Thanks. I'm sitting here going crazy. I just need... I needed to tell you how sorry I am for dragging you into this mess. Because of me, you're God knows where with Neil. Probably scared and hurt. And... Shit. I never should have allowed myself to fall in love with you. Because this is what happens. People get hurt around me. People die around me. Somehow I'm the only one left standing. And if I lose you, I'm coming to get you. I hope you know that. You'd be proud. I'm actually going in with a solid plan. Working together with a, uh, a rival to boot. Uh, you'd be proud of me. I keep thinking about what you wanted to do. That you wanted to watch a movie with me. I should have said yes. I was so wrapped up with Neil that I didn't take time with you. Time that I... Could have... You shouldn't worry. I'm coming. You're gonna get out of this alive. I swear to you. No matter what happens to me, you're gonna be okay. So, hang on, okay? I love you. Well, well, well. Haven't you got yourself into quite the pickle? I didn't hire you to lecture me, Marina. Lecture? On the contrary. I think it's adorable you've fallen in love with your client. Stupid, but adorable. Shut up. It's not like you to lose your cool. Nail's got to know that. It'll make you sloppy. Then why'd you agree to sign on? Oh, come on. I'm not heartless. Plus, the amount of zeros you tacked onto the pay was impressive. Is this person really so important to you? You'll take point over there. I'm not sure how many people Neil has with him, but I need you to pick off anyone that tries to enter. You can do that, right? I'm not an expert at sniper for nothing. Oh, good. Get set up then. We'll leave in five. Look, are you sure you want to go through with this? It's risky, not to mention a stupid. Nail could have- Five two. minutes. All right, your funeral. I'm all set up. Nail's got about four guys with him. Three more patrolling outside. I can take the ones inside if you handle the ones outside. Remember, no one in or out. Have a little faith. This is not my first rodeo. Look, just be careful. 
I'll do. Easy there, boys. No need to waste the bullets just yet. Well, you got here faster than I expected. I had help. <laughs> Sniper. Uh, clever. Who is that? Marina. It's over, Neil. Oh, why so serious with you? You gotta learn to have a little fun now and then. Release her. You know I can't do that. Besides, your lover is a bit out of it. Blows to the head will do that to you. <sighs> you stupid. Ha 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 ha. Not another step. Oh, did you forget what you were? This is my domain. You're playing by my rules. Neil, stop this. This isn't you. This isn't the guy who trained me and who went out on my first assignment with me. If you put the gun down, we can make this work. <laughs> oh, you know, there's a funny thing about this job. The more work you do, the bloodier it gets. Until one day, you just don't feel anything. You kill in order to protect. Oh, well, that's what you tell yourself. But really, are we any better than all the goons that come after our clients? I mean, they're one, this uh, lover of yours. You've already killed for her. How do you think she'll handle that? Would she ever forgive you? I'm not here to play games with you, Neil. I'm going to tell you one more time. Get away from her. Oh, what? <laughs> you'll kill me. Oh, you'll have your sniper outside kill me. If that's what it takes. I'm tired of this. Do your worst. Boys, open fire. <sighs> Focus! You fucking idiot! Kill him! He's right there! Just you and me now, Neil. <laughs> oh, the question is, who will fire first? I don't want to kill you, but I will if I have to. And if I kill you first? We both know you're not a quicker shot than me. Fuck! Uh, he shot me in the gut! Oh, Jesus! I'll call for an ambulance once I'm gone. <laughs> Stay down, Mignon. Love? Hey, hey, come on, open those eyes. Love, open your eyes, please. Oh, there you are, easy, easy, don't move, it's, it's okay, you're safe, I'm here. Oh, he's down, he won't hurt you. It's okay. Oh, shit. You've got some nasty bruises. Did he do uh, anything else to you? No. Don't get up. Not yet. I, I want to check you over. Make sure nothing is bleeding badly before we move. <laughs> of course I came. And don't worry. When we're away from here, I will be giving you the biggest lecture you've ever had. I told you not to leave. And what did you do? You left. I know, but I'm trained. You're not. I could have handled whatever Neil threw at me. Look, we can argue about this later. Right now, let's just get you up. <clears throat> oh, easy. 
Lean on me. I know. We'll get you pumped up with some pain meds once we get out. No one is leaving. <laughs> what? Love, you... You pushed me out of the way. Why? <laughs> well, I guess it's Romeo and Juliet after all. <laughs> Told you she would die for you. Open your eyes. There's so much blood. Stop the bleeding. Just gotta do that. I heard the shots and... Is Neil dead? Otherwise, I'll unload a few more bullets in him. The cops are going to be here. I'm sure they've heard the shots. We need to get out of here. Not without her. Her pulse is weak. I don't see... I'm not going without her. All right, you grab them. I have a safe house nearby. Jack is there. He'll take care of her. I bring the car. Marina. Thanks. Be out there in two. Why would you take a bullet from me? Why do you keep doing these crazy things for me? My, it's my job to protect you. And now, and now when you wake up, oh, you are in so much trouble, it'll make your head spin. So, uh, so you better wake up. You hear me? You have to survive this. Because there's so much more I want to do with you. I want to get out, to get sushi with you, watch movies with you, live life with you, and I can't do that, any of that, if you leave me now. So just hold on. Hold on, ma. Here, if I remember correctly, you take it with extra cream and no sugar. I'm fine. Jack is one of the best. He'll take good care of her. It was a lot of blood, Marina. It could have hit something vital. No use worrying in what ifs. Just have a little faith. Must be all over the news now. I didn't even think to call for a cleanup. I but... did. It's coming out of your wallet, though. You did? Of course. So don't worry. I'm sure the official line will be that nail caused all the chaos. How is she? Stable? Thank God. Go inside, see her. Thank you, Marina. <laughs> Thank me later. Go. Hey. Ah, love. Me? I'm not the one that took a bolt to the chest. Easy. You... You lost a lot of blood. You need to rest. Of course, I'm upset. First of all, you put yourself in danger when I specifically told you not to. And then you pushed me out of the way of a bullet. You could have died. I know, but if it had hit you, 
at just a different angle, and it would have been all over. I would have lost you. And I can't stand the idea. You could have just been gone. I love you, idiot. That's why I'm so emotional. God, you can be so dense sometimes. <laughs> oh, shut off. How can you be so cheerful? You were shot. You idiot. Any movie you want. Maybe if you're lucky, I'll even buy you some popcorn. <laughs> uh, sounds good. But first, you need a rest. Get better. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going anywhere. I can't trust you. <laughs> you won't run off. You are such an escape artist. No... I really shouldn't. You need your space. Alright? Don't move. I'll lie next to you. You okay? Let me know if something hurts. Good. I can hear your heartbeat. It's not annoying. It's reassuring, actually. It's proof. You're still with me. Don't worry about it. Neil's gone. Whoever his client was will need time to regroup. And that is, if they even think you're worth all the effort still, when it's fine, we're going to be fine. I promise you, you'll always be safe in my arms. Now, go to sleep.